What's up watchers of the Marvel Multiverse? Welcome back to the channel and today we have some pretty major news revolving around Spider-Man No Way Home. Including but not limited to major plot revelations including confirmation of several villains and different realities at play in No Way Home. Different stills from the movie that were leaked via Empire Magazine. Essentially confirmation that both Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield would be appearing in No Way Home. As well as when we can expect to see the full poster reveal for No Way Home. So buckle up guys as this is going to be a massive video packed with news. First though if you've been enjoying the Spider-Man No Way Home coverage on the channel if you could hit that like button that would help us out in the algorithm a ton. Thanks and let's get into it. Let's start off obviously with the biggest news first and where a lot of this news is coming from. The bulk of the news that we'll be discussing in this video comes directly from the exclusive Empire magazine. And while unfortunately I cannot post the images here as they will be taken down by Empire and have been officially copyrighted by them for exclusive coverage, we can break down exactly what the exclusive magazine says, as well as discuss exactly what we see in the images. The bulk of the images actually revolve around the return of Alfred Molina's Dr. Otto Octavius, which makes sense as so far he's the only villain that's been fully visually revealed. In the images, we actually see that Doc Ock is the one responsible for destroying the Iron Spider suit, with Doc Ock catching the Iron Spider suit and attempting to crush its head the same sequence that we've seen multiple times in the comics, as well as a scene that is very reminiscent of the one in Spider-Man 2 where Doc Ock attempts to do the same thing to Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man. In addition to this, we also got confirmation that Dr. Otto Octavius's tentacle arms are actually partially practical, and that for the set of No Way Home, they did use practical arms. What's interesting about No Way Home is its massive budget, making it the highest budgeted Spider-Man film by far. Even having a larger budget than Spider-Man 3, a film that infamously is one of the highest budgeted films of all time. Next up, we have some news that comes directly from the Sony Spider-Man No Way Home official Twitter page, who revealed to look out for the Spider-Man No Way Home official poster coming out this Monday. However, they hinted at the idea that it could actually appear in movie theaters over the weekend. Now though, let's cover the biggest aspects revealed in Empire Magazine's coverage of Spider-Man No Way Home. Again, what's interesting about this is Empire Magazine actually paid for exclusive coverage of No Way Home. That's why we can't actually show the image Images here. However, we can read brief snippets of exactly what is revealed in the coverage from Empire. The biggest section actually confirms two major villains that have thus far only been rumored, including the Lizard as well as Sandman, both played by their original actor. However, it also seemingly confirms the appearances of both Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire, but it appears as if both Tobey and Andrew in their films are directly referenced. In essence, Doctor Strange's spell seems to open doors connecting people Peter's reality to many other realities, including realities and worlds that predate the Spider-Man movies of the MCU the worlds created by directors Sam Raimi and Mark Webb. Worlds in which Willem Dafoe's Green Goblin is still tearing around on his flying shed. Worlds which include Rise Iphen's The Lizard, Thomas Aiden Church's Sandman, and Jamie Foxx's Electro. This does actually fully reveal all members of the Sinister Five that will appear in Spider-Man No Way Home. With us now receiving an official confirmation of every single one of them, the lineup is currently as it stands. Let's go ahead and start with the villains that are confirmed from the Sam Raimi universe, as we have three of them. We have Thomas Hayden Church's Sandman, which is confirmed in the Empire Magazine exclusive. Willem Dafoe's Green Goblin, who was hinted at in the trailer, and now is officially confirmed thanks to the exclusive. Alfred Molina, who confirmed several months back that he was in fact in No Way Home. And from Mark Webb's universe, we have two returning villains, including Rise iFans The Lizard, as well as Jamie Foxx's Electra with Jamie Foxx confirming that he would be appearing as Electro in No Way Home. And this being the official confirmation that the Lizard is in fact in No Way Home as the fifth member of the Sinister Group. What's important to note here is they directly reference the universes of both Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire, with this being the biggest confirmation and hint yet that both Tobey and Andrew will appear in No Way Home, as it outright confirms that those realities are mixing with Peter Parker. Another thing that's interesting to note is that appear appears as if a lot of the villains from Spider-Man No Way Home could come from separate realities that stem from the Raimi and Mark Webb universe. What I mean by this is perhaps these aren't the exact same characters that we encounter in those films, but actually the 
these villains and characters stem from a reality where they managed to destroy their version of Spider-Man, which has been a heavily rumored plot detail ever since it was announced that a lot of the Mark Webb and Sam Raimi villains would be returning, and would still keep the original plot lines and storylines of the characters and villains from the original Spider-Man movies intact, while still allowing the actors to reprise their roles. With that out of the way and covered, let's go ahead and talk about a big update that we have for the actual trailer for Spider-Man No Way Home. This comes from the official Twitter account of Sean O'Connell, who is currently writing a book about the live-action journey of Spider-Man. He tweeted that there is a high probability that we will be getting the second trailer of Morbius before we get the trailer for Spider-Man No Way Home, as the last trailer that we got for Morbius was actually 21 months ago, nearly two years, and Sony will want to build up the hype for their Spider-Verse and the characters that they've been building up with Let There Be Carnage and now No Way Home, explaining that it may be advantageous for Sony to actually release the Morbius trailer before the No Way Home trailer, but the span being very close to one another. We are receiving reports, however, that the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer itself, the second one that is, is now officially complete and dubbed and ready to go. And now it's simply up to Sony when they want to drop the second trailer. We were expecting a lot of the images and news from Spider-Man No Way Home to be dropping via Empire Magazine tomorrow and not actually today, with some speculating that this does actually indicate that we could be getting the trailer for No Way Home either today or sometime tomorrow. However, this is anything but confirmed. If this changes, however, rest assured that on the channel we will be here to keep you guys updated. The final piece of news that we'll be covering today pertaining to Spider-Man No Way Home actually revolves around a leak concerning Tobey Maguire that may Make it clear that Tobey Maguire is the exact same Spider-Man that we encounter over the first three Spider-Man movies directed by Sam Raimi, with them going out of their way to confirm this through several lines of dialogue. Again, apparently it's also confirmed that this Tobey Maguire Spider-Man is significantly older than he was in Spider-Man 3, with several years having passed, which again goes in line with a lot of the other rumors. But anyway my friends, what are your thoughts on this, and what are your thoughts on all the updates and news we're getting revolving around Spider-Man No Way Home? What do you think about the trailer update, as well as confirmation that both Sandman and the Lizard are members of the Sinister Five? How do you feel about a lot of the marketing for Spider-Man No Way Home so far, and do you think there's a possibility that we could actually get the trailer today. As always, my friends, if you want to stay up to date with everything No Way Home related, hit that subscribe button as we'll be covering it in depth on the channel, not only leading up to the release of Spider-Man No Way Home, but well after it. I hope you guys have a phenomenal day, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.